This is Jay Addison from Crypto Biz Magazine. We are live in Las Vegas at Inside Bitcoin's convention with Matthew Rozak, Bitcoin VC and entrepreneur. Matthew, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. How personally are you involved in choosing a company to invest in? Uh, very deeply involved. I think um, given the speed at which uh, Bitcoin is moving, there's uh, lots of uh, human capital coming in, lots of uh, deals coming in and uh, uh, I, I think there's you know, not a day that goes by that I don't get uh, two or three uh, opportunities. It's, uh, uh, the pace is pretty uh, amazing and you're seeing a lot of innovation, a lot of smart people coming into the space. Uh, and in choosing the company, it's, um, uh, it, it's a kind of multifaceted approach between uh, the opportunity, the people, um, and what, uh, what pain point that's going to solve in the ecosystem. Because right now there's a lot of pain points and, and adoption and friction and trying to uh, have that evolve for the for the better. Yeah, it's, that's for sure. The industry evolves very quickly, obviously. Uh, are you concerned that something will replace Bitcoin in the near future? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, my, my long bet is is Bitcoin. Uh, from an uh, investment thesis standpoint, um, about two-thirds of, of uh, my dollar goes into Bitcoin, about a third goes into the ecosystem. So I'm very long Bitcoin. Uh, I think Bitcoin is, um, uh, is, is, has and will continue to have the network effect. Unlike other industries where you say, okay, the number one player, number two player is going to get displaced by the number three whippersnapper who's going to take uh, you know, those uh, uh, lessons learned and, and outprice them or outmaneuver out them because they're too slow to move. Here, uh, I think there's a different uh, cementing of, uh, of Bitcoin as uh, the protocol and, and the currency that's, uh, that's going to win. I mean, right now it represents 93, 94% of the uh, market cap of, uh, of all uh, digital currencies, and I think that's, that's uh, for a reason. Yeah, it sure is. What company that you've invested in do you think will have the largest impact on the Bitcoin ecosystem? Um, one that I'm very excited about and, and uh, um, feel very deeply about is uh, Blockstream. So uh, Austin Hill and Adam Back, um, are uh, creating a, uh, a platform to help um, extend and scale the Bitcoin blockchain uh, with, uh, with side chains. And I think that's uh, going to be something uh, that uh, people will be hearing more and more about. I think it'll uh, kind of uh, take, take Bitcoin, uh, the protocol, to a new level, much like uh, uh, the Internet has evolved over time, you know, based on, you know, if, if, if you told me that uh, you were going to stream Netflix and, and, and buy stuff online in 1994, you'd, you'd make that kind of same face today in, in terms of some of the ways in which people want to apply technologies or uh, solutions on the blockchain. It's, it's uh, right now it needs those, those, uh, those scaling uh, technologies and, and Blockstream is going to solve, solve that. So when you talk about the side chain, for people that aren't technical, are you referring to the ability to attach something else to the blockchain, like a smart contract or a file type of thing? Exactly, exactly. And do that and make it more extensible so you don't have uh, bloat on the blockchain. You're able to do uh, uh, time stamping and, and stuff off blockchain and then still, still have it um, register. Which would speed the transaction. Exactly. Right, okay. Are you interested in Bitcoin from a purely financial standpoint or a technological one as well? Uh, what's interesting is, is a lot of people come to Bitcoin from different aspects, whether it's uh, finance or, or uh, tech or a political stance. Um, I think for the first time in my, my investing career, uh, the, the piece that um, uh, I, I have <laughs> for, for Bitcoin is, is passion. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's got this ability not only to, to, to certainly make money and make a uh, financial return, but also to, to change the world. Um, you know, I've, I've invested in almost every asset class uh, in technology under the sun. Uh, and um, here I, I, I see where you can make a change, you can make a difference. And that's uh, something I've, I've not been involved with uh, in my career. And it's one of the things that uh, is an undercurrent in terms of what uh, propels me and energizes me about this, uh, about this ecosystem. It's a lot more community driven, isn't it, than most, I mean, I'm, I'm sure any other investments, you just wouldn't find the same type of community where everybody really comes together to promote each other and to, to grow it, you know, yeah, as I mean, a community. It, it, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's early days and you're seeing a lot of great energy, a lot of uh, excitement, and um, I think that's going to go a long way. I think that the human capital that's coming into this uh, space is unprecedented. You're seeing people leaving Google and Facebook and PayPal and Visa and uh, uh, at such an early stage, this, this, is, this is still, you know, uh, inning one, chapter one, whatever you want to call it, and uh, people are, are leaving, you know, good, uh, 
uh, good jobs and uh, they're seeing what, uh, what everybody else Potential. is seeing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Exciting, yeah. How much consideration have you given to investing into good altcoins or so-called Bitcoin 2.0 technologies? You know, I, I, I'm really in, intrigued by that. I, I, I see the benefit of that I, um, uh, in terms of using uh, Bitcoin as this, um, you know, a decentralized central nervous system um, it, it, in terms of uh, applying identity, in terms of applying uh, bandwidth, compute, all these different infrastructure layers that uh, can, can further extend the, uh, the possibilities of, of blockchain technologies. I think these, these, these uh, app coins um, are, are very important in terms of getting that done. I, in funding uh, and using um, the, uh, an app coin um, uh, financing, I think uh, it's, a, it's a very smart and efficient way to raise money so they could get those, um, uh, those technologies out the door. January 1st, 2015, what do you think the price of Bitcoin is going to be? As a, as a Bitcoin investor, you should be one of the ones that gives us the higher number. We've had some crazy numbers. So what do you think? You know, uh, I, I, I've, yeah, I've learned not to speculate. I, I think it's going to go up. I mean, my, my whole thesis is that this is going to go up. The, given the amount of capital that's coming in here, the amount of human capital, uh, the energy. Uh, I, I mentioned this yesterday on my panel. I, I think Bitcoin is the, uh, the most mispriced asset I've seen in my career in terms of its potential. Um, but uh, if, if you want a number, I would say a thousand plus. Fantastic. Matthew Rozak, Bitcoin VC and investor and entrepreneur. If somebody wants to get a hold of you and run their project by you, how would they do that? Yeah, please do. Uh, Matt, M-A-T-T, -T, at tallycapital.com. Thanks kindly, Matt. Thank you. Cheers. This is Jay Addison from Crypto Biz Magazine, live from Meckler Media's Inside Bitcoins Conference in Las Vegas. Remember to subscribe to Crypto Biz Magazine at CryptoBizMag.com. Follow us on Twitter at CryptoBizMag. Thanks for joining us and learn more at CryptoBizMagazine.com.